Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well today. And I want to talk to you about heel hunts. Now, heel hunts is something that is widely regarded as a bit of a meme, but something I love dearly. And I genuinely believe it has its own place, especially in Cataclysm. So what is heel hunts? If you haven't heard of the term or anything like that before, Enhancement Shemmy has a chance to get something called Maelstrom Weapon Stacks on hit. Gives you a stacking buff up to 5 that reduces cast time and mana cost by 20% per stack of certain abilities like Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, Healing Wave, and Chain Heal. Now, this is something that is core to Enhancement Shammy in general, and maximizing your Maelstrom stacks will be the key to pumping damage with Lightning Bolts and things like that, generally for logging. Heal Hunts chooses to use these stacks to assist with healing more so than damage. Now, you do learn, lose damage, of course, running this setup, but I believe that it has its place in raid teams. Now, when you have fights that require either assistance or healing during certain phases, or just in general throughout the fight, but you don't want to lose an entire DPS, Heal Hunts offers that kind of 70-30 DPS to healing split, and that's why I want to talk about it. Now, on screen at the moment, you're going to be able to see the talents. We go the typical enhancement tree with the flex points in either Ancestral Swiftness for movement speed and mobility or Totemic Reach for the totem range. After that we go three points into Spark of Life. This talent is crazy good in the resto tree and it double dips increasing both your healing and healing received, meaning your chain heals on yourself will be very very effective and allow you to chain bigger heals to your group. Now, there isn't really a good secondary option for the first tier of restoration. I chose Tidal Focus because it won't, we won't always be healing at 5 sex and Maelstrom or casting, which I'll talk more about in a second. Um, but it just gives you a little bit of mana reduction. Ancestral Resolve can be good as well. If played well, you can actually use this as like a pseudo-defensive. Casting as a mechanic is about to land and get in that 10% damage reduction. After that, Focused Insight offers tons of increased healing in general. Your last two points are flexible. But I, especially early tier, I choose to put them in Acuity to get the increased crit, as more crit means more flurry up time, more flurry up time means more melees, and that means more Maelstrom stacks. Now in terms of glyphs, we're still going to be taking Stormstrike and Lava Lash as our prime glyphs, but we have a little bit of an option as our second, or as our third glyph, sorry. We can either go for Earth Living Weapon, and this is going to be best if you choose to run two Earth Living Weapons, one on your main hand, one on the offhand, which is going to be the maximum potential you have for DP uh, for healing, but not so great for DPS. Now, if you choose to go the other option, which is putting Wind Fury weapon on your main hand and Earth Living on your offhand, you're going to do a little bit more damage, a little bit less healing from Earth Living, but you are going to get more Maelstrom stacks because Wind Fury in itself will generate you a lot more, and if you are going to run Wind Fury, you should run Glyph of Wind Fury in that third slot. I feel like I said Wind Fury a lot then. Major Glyphs, you're going to be running Chain Heal. I typically would like to run Healing Stream Totem and Lightning Shield. Um, you have a couple of different options of things you can run, but Chain Heal is going to be the important one that you definitely want to be bringing. In terms of how to play Heal Hunts, it just sounds really simple, right? DPS the boss, spend your Maelstrom stacks on heals, so on. Now, it follows a lot of the same principles as Resto, using shocks before things like Healing Rains or Big Chain Heals to maximize the healing. I also spend a lot of time actually healing at 3 or 4 stacks instead of 5 stacks if the healing is required. We actually get insane amounts of mana back through Focused Insight and Primal Wisdom that doing that isn't ever going to really punish us. Obviously we lose a little bit more damage, but if you're there to help heal, let's make sure everyone stays alive, right? Never use Healing Wave. The mana efficiency just isn't needed, so you can use Greater Healing Wave as a single target heal, Chain Heal for AoE healing, and I typically do this off of myself, or Healing Rain is insane, especially if you can get people to maintain it and stack up in it. Now, whilst I think the talents I mentioned earlier helps, if you just want to be your generic friendly neighborhood enhancement shaman, having a second set of weapons with Earth Living Enchanted to switch to and help healing as needed, think like Chimera on Feuds where it's just a healing check, damage isn't too important at that point, can be incredibly helpful and something I will be definitely doing at all times. Now, Enhance might be, not be the top DPS in Kata, although I think I've seen and proved that we can definitely pump, but we can live that true hybrid lifestyle and bring a lot of utility to the raid if needed. 
Overall, like I said, I love Enhancement, and I specifically love Heal Hunts. I think it is something that gets memed, but I will be healing Heroics with this. I will be healing Normals with this early on. I will be in Raids, you know, as soon as we get past that, like, week one progression where we're three healing bosses, I'll be dropping the third healer, which is going to be me as Resto, and going Heal Hunts, right? We'll have a little bit less healing, but so much more extra damage as well. Um, so... You know, take advantage of those shamans if you can. Thank you guys for watching as always. You guys are showing mad amounts of love to the channel at the moment. We're already coming up on 4,100 subs at the time of me recording this. So let's just see what we can do. I do plan on doing a giveaway soon. If you aren't already in the Discord, you should definitely go and get in there just so you can be involved when it comes around and I put the information out. Thank you for watching once more. Thanks again and peace.